Had a man last year, life goes on Haven't let the thing lose, girl, it's so long You been inside, know you like to lay low I've been people what you bring to the table Working hard, girl, everything paid for First, last phone, bill, car, no cable What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Misha Finique, and I'm back with another video. I'll be covering five to six topics to help freshmen survive freshman year. The first topic is dating. Y'all, that senior or junior does not love you. They just see you as fresh meat. So try to stay away from like getting in relationships, like having relationships with juniors and seniors because most likely you're going to get played. That relationship that you're in is not going to last. So have fun, have friends, and if you like somebody, then date, but stay out your feelings. And never, ever send news, ever. Because don't believe people say, oh, you just send this to me, I ain't gonna show them, I ain't gonna tell nobody, because they will show and they will tell. And like, like for instance, there was this girl, when I, when I was in high school, like this girl, she took pictures and sent them to somebody and she ended up airdropping them to the whole school and the whole school scene. The next topic is friends. Don't trust people, don't be, don't like do all the work and then let people come along and like use you for answers and like on test day, you, you study, you study like the whole way up test day and then you have people on test day trying to copy answers and stuff. I understand like if, if you do half the homework assignment and then I do the other half and then we'll come back the next day and we'll switch answers and like, like stuff like that. That's okay, cool. Or like if you do what it says and like you figure out, hey, you, you figure out numbers 1 through 15 and I figure out 15 through 30 and then you bounce off and y'all switch up, y'all switch the answers back. Y'all, you know, like if they do a part of the work, you do the other part and y'all switch off at the end, then that's cool. But don't let them, don't, don't do the whole thing by yourself and then have to come along and just take credit for everything you did, you know. Don't give in to peer, peer pressure. Like, if it's something that you want to do, and, and it's a decision that you made, then cool. But don't let somebody make you feel bad or feel un, feel uncool because you don't want to do something like that you don't want to do. Keep your personal business to yourself because people gossip, especially girls. And all your business will be all over school and you will be embarrassed. Don't be known as a school guy. Meaning, don't go around hopping from boy to boy and be having, doing, you messing with every boy in high school known as a girl that gets around. Don't hang around a school thought. Meaning, don't, mess, don't be close to or be cool with the girl that gets around in school. Like, the girl that messing with all the boys. Because, have y'all ever heard of the phrase that you are the company that you keep? It's cool to date, dip and dive and dating and stuff, and date like people your age or even in grade up. But don't make them a priority. Like, focus on your books because if you don't, you're gonna read it in the long run. The friends you start with will not be the friends you finish with. You may start like freshman year and have five or six friends. Like your circle might be, you know, wide, long, big, or whatever. And then you get to like 11th grade, you might have two or three y'all in the group. And senior year when you graduate, you will be lucky to have two of y'all. Two people that you can call your friends. I'm not saying like be alone and be all to yourself. No, make friends, like friends. But keep your circle small. Like, real small. Because people are fake. Yeah. When it comes to schoolwork, y'all, freshman year is the most important year. Take at least five. Take at least five classes off your required courses list because your grades from freshman year not like really make or break you. Like so, you really should like be really focused on like your grades. You know, your first year of high school. Fail some classes in ninth grade. You don't do too good on them. You will be taking them again. Like, you know, eleventh or twelfth grade year. You will be in a class with a bunch of freshmen, and that's like embarrassing. My freshman year, I did have a few like 11th graders and 12th graders in my class. Now that I think about it, and I, that was cool. I was cool with some of them. Like, that's how I came. Those were some of my like, first few acquaintances I, or like associates. Was real cool. Now we going into the hallways. 
I understand that y'all is like new and got to high school and you, you excited. That's cool. You can be excited, but don't be loud. It's 7 30 in the morning. Nobody wants to hear you screaming about some BS. Like, no. Be seen. Don't be heard. Don't walk extra slow in the hallways and don't stop and block the hallways. You only have five minutes or ten minutes, five to ten minutes, depending on what school you go to. You only have five to ten minutes to get to class. Just hurry up. Be on time. Don't be one of those kids that always late to class and stay in ISS for some tardies. Try to like get cool with your teacher and like you know her good side. Because I guarantee if you do, you have an easy going first first year and like she won't give you a hard time when it comes to like tests and homework. If you put forth the effort and show what you're trying and you like you actually studying and making good grades and stuff. Like if say if you got like an 89 or like a 78 in her class, she'll bump you up one point and she'll put you to a B or A, y'all. Stay off the upperclassmen halls. There is nothing down those hallways for you. I guarantee you, like you will be in the other one half side of school. And then the other half would be 11th and 12th graders. One half would be 9th and 10th grade. It would be 9th grade hall, 10th grade hall, 11th grade hall, 12th grade hall. That's how my high school is. I don't know how yours is, but it's, you'll be divided. So there's like, there'll be no reason for you to go running down the upper class halls. They hate that. Dress code is the next topic. Don't be the person that comes to school with extra when it comes to dress code when you obviously know what you should and should not have wear. enough common sense not to wear like heels stilettos and short dresses like the ones that you can't bend over in without showing you and for the dudes wear a belt keep your pants up nobody wants to see your boxes and your like for example when we were, like my 10th grade year that's where the girls started like dressing like they were going to the club and like the people the principals that wasn't having it and like they would come wearing short dresses, heels, and have like they, they, they breasts out and and like so they they made us start wearing uniforms the middle of tenth grade year. The next topic is the cafeteria, y'all. I don't go out sad and spend all your money on lunch because half the time the food is not all that. You pay for something that really. It's not worth like three or three, four hours for one thing. Like, no. You don't want to limit yourself to just a few people, a few friends. You're supposed to like mingle and like meet like new people or new associates. And you know, put yourself out there. Okay, now I have extra tips, sort of like the 411 of you know, how to survive and stay, you know, intact during your freshman year in high school. Get involved, take pictures, make memories, join a club, like, join a sport, like, beta, cheer, mm, theater, like, anything, like, just, like, get out there, like, make, like, this is, like, your last four years of school, you need to make the most memories that you can, like, to look back on. If I have listened to anything that I said in the past few clips, that you need to listen to this. This will, will really help you survive freshman year. Don't stare. That is rude. And people are quick to check you about it, which can start unnecessary problems. Don't be friendly with nobody's boyfriend and girlfriend. That's not cute, and it will start problems. Me and you will have girls or niggas or dudes beefing, having beef with you over they they um boyfriend and girlfriend treat people equally don't go around talking about nobody down down nobody on how they look dress or what kind of clothes they wearing or like don't just do that because you want somebody doing it to you not everybody is this not everybody is have the same thing as other people not everybody is you know has it has it as good as some next person sit with or like be cool with or like you know make friends with the smart kids you know and when i say that i don't mean cheat off of them do your work study and but if you're having a bad day and they know that you're not one of those kids that never studies then they'll help you or like an answer or two or three you know i know from firsthand because i've been i've been the smart the smart kid and i've been the kid that needed a few answers 
every now and then. There's some classes, some subjects that I was good in, like science, history. Um, there's some subjects that I was not so good in, like algebra and math. But when I said, you know, sit with the smart kid, I didn't mean to like cheat up of them. I meant like, you know, when I was in science and like history and stuff like that, I would get A's and B's because I knew what I was doing. I, I was good in that, those subjects. So I would help people that, you know, I knew was good in other subjects. And I would help them in a subject that they wasn't good in. So they would help me in a subject that I wasn't good in. You know what I'm saying? Bounce off each other. Don't like use each other, but like help each other out. If they need an answer, I would give it to them. And then when we got in like math class, I would do my work. And I came across an answer that I didn't know, I would ask them, you know? Learn how to walk away from negative situations. Every action doesn't deserve a reaction. And pick and choose your battles wisely. Like if this girl don't like you and you know for a fact that she don't care about her, about nothing she got going on for herself, like she got say she stay in trouble, she stay going to um ace, um going to um stay with being in the principal office, stay being wrought up, stay suspended, stay fighting or whatever. She probably got um some charges or whatever. You know, she she do surely do not care about if she gonna graduate or not. So you know she don't care about you. Don't waste your time trying to have anything going on with her. If she got some problem with you, stay clear. Don't don't even go her way. Stay away from her. Like don't wait. Don't mess up your good thing for some lame. Stay focused, bro. Like for real, stay focused. Don't be an attention seeker. That is not cute, bro. Don't be no loud mouth, like aggravating kid. Like nobody likes that. Like you really think that that's cute, but people are talking about how aggravating you is and how they don't want to be around you, and that's you don't want to go out sad. Like just don't do that. Just keep in mind. Just think positive vibes only, and like stay positive. You will have a great first year of high school. Well, y'all, that was it for this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe down below and tell me what you think and ask me questions. Or you can, like, send me suggestions on what I should film in the future. Or, and I hope this video was helpful and I hope all the new coming freshmen have a great first year in high school. And if you have any questions or want any advice on what else, on any other high school related topics, then you can follow me and read me and snapchat me instagram me on um, all my information down below in the description box make sure you click that bell too because you'll be notified on when i post next and you'll see every everything on youtube see you in the next video peace